All right, so we're going to go over the skills of a lumbar range of motion exam. I'll be hitting just a little bit how to read it, but largely the skills of doing a lumbar range of motion exam. Um, so I typically like to start off with flexion. Um, the key is to have them somewhat standardized. Some people say, you know, put your feet on either side of mine. You can do that as long as they're not, you know, one foot around. And if they do it incorrectly, or just have them do it again. Any test should be able to be repeatable. And if you're not sure, if it seems a little funny to you, just have them do it again. Logan, I just want you to bend forward like you're trying to touch your toes. That's a common cue I use. I also sometimes ask if they bend your knees. I say try not to, but if they bend them just a little bit, I'm not fretting. I want to make sure that we do reproduce and it looks about the same to me. So bend forward again. And I'm gonna show overpressure here, even though I normally don't do overpressure immediately, unless I know they're pretty low irritability. The key here is, can you see this, Sam? You put them like an accordion. So I don't wanna just push down. I can just stretch the hamstrings more. So I'm gonna put one hand here, or one forearm on the sacrum, and one here on their thoracic spine. I try to break them in half. I wanna just flex that right there. And then I'll help them out of there. All right, then I like to go extension. Hands on your waist, bend backwards. I like to have the straight on shot. I also like to look from the side as well, so I can get a good idea. Come on back up. I'm always talking about any symptoms there. Then I will go sideways. Over the side like that. And then the other side. Now I'm watching how far down their hands go. Common things that people will do is they'll kind of rotate forward, you know, so they'll, you know, come forward like that. I mean, it's somewhat difficult for them to go into extension. Um, if I'm getting symptoms of other ones, maybe this one isn't as important. I just want to see how they're moving. Um, you can do rotation. I don't do a ton of rotation because there's so much involved with the hips there. But sometimes I'll ask them just to go back and forth, so I'm not as precise with this one. I want to see how that one is. Then quadrant is important. Um, so with quadrant, I have them go, I say bring your hand to the back and turn backwards, bend backwards and rotate down and reach the back of your knees. Otherwise, sometimes they'll just go like this. You want to say bend backwards and rotate down. And then the same thing other side. If I'm going to tell somebody that the range of motion exam is clear, with overpressure. You do this again, Logan. I want it clear with me holding here for 10 seconds. Is this all right? Yeah. So notice I, on this uh, side I have there, and then this hand is right here. And I'm trying to break his back in half after I poke him in the eye. And then I'm gonna do it the same side on the other side as well. So if they're having right-sided pain, I knew both of these to be clear. Sometimes it'll be painful away, sometimes it'll be painful towards. You can hold that for 10 seconds, and they have no complaints. Not just not their familiar complaints, but no complaints. Then it is really clear. Just because it's not clear doesn't mean that's the issue that we need to work on. If you're gonna tell me a lumbar range of motion exam with overpressure is clear, that's gotta be clear, holding it for 10 seconds. All other ones we can put some overpressure with, but those are the ones that, um, with flexion and then quadrant they really stress both directions that I really want to stress.